principal here at Brookfield High School says this isn't the first time there's been vandalism in the bathroom. Broken stall doors, soap dispensers, things getting stuffed in the toilets. But it is the most egregious example. Just 20 minutes after this tampon dispenser was installed in the boys' room of Brookfield High School, it was ripped from the wall. They already have like the nurse's bathroom and they have an all gender one, so I don't really care, but it's just not that big of a deal. Student Alistair Gall tells Fox 61 he thinks there's more important things to talk about than bathroom vandalism. We've been doing that for like the past three years. I just feel like it's kind of getting blown out of proportion. Brookfield High Principal Mark Belanda sent this message to students and staff saying he was disheartened, dismayed, and disgusted. But there are others, including state lawmakers, who are just as disgusted the dispensers were put up at all. Rather than debate this policy, I'll just simply say that I don't approve of it. I don't believe that uh, it's good public policy. The constituents in my district have expressed their dismay over it. The installation of tampon dispensers is the result of a new state law pushed through on the final day of a legislative session. The law states boards of education shall provide free menstrual products in women's restrooms, all gender restrooms, and at least one men's restroom. The law was put in place to accommodate transgender and intersex students and to address what the State Department of Public Health calls period poverty and the struggle of families to purchase menstrual products. The State Department of Education sent a statement saying, quote, having open dialogue in the school community can help everyone understand the law, ensure a school environment where everyone is respected and all students are supported. But some on the other side think it's another example of injecting controversial ideology into education. This quickly uh, became a big issue in my district. It was all over social media and people commenting and raising concerns. Brookfield police also showed up at the school today. They say out of concern for student safety, the school will reinstall the tampon dispenser. They believe they know who was responsible. Reporting outside Brookfield High School, Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.